But in your body, as you as you get older, or as you don't have enough nutrients, or as you have too many toxins, those mitochondria, which are like the lights in your building, they go out. And there's nothing to turn them back on, except algae. Algae has all the nutrients that will help protect your mitochondria, which will allow them to grow back, which will allow them to generate more cellular energy. So it's like putting the lights back on in your building. So now everything works again. But if you don't have the, in, this kind of intervention, because it is impossible to get the nutrients you need from our food these days. And here's the thing, after the age of 30, and we could talk about this later, your body stops making a lot of really important antioxidants that mm. allow your body to function um, properly. Things like melatonin start to drop. There's a very important antioxidant called superoxide dismutase. I know that's a mouthful. It's also known as SOD. No, not at all. <laughs> it, stops, it stops the damage of the... Of, um, the mitochondria, they stop the mitochondria from being damaged from free radicals. So after the age of 30, up until age of 30, your body makes that for you. But after 30, it stops. And so, and you can't get SOD from any food except algae. So again, algae has, um, uh, and also by the way, this SOD is an, is an enzyme. So all the other algae companies that use high heat to dry their algae, they're damaging, killing the, this SOD because it's an enzyme. All enzymes are, are denutered after 114 degrees Fahrenheit. Ours is raw or frozen spirulina like you used to take is raw. So you would get all those same benefits. But people don't know these. I know it gives you the creeps thinking about eating all that, right? Uh, well, here, it's so funny because I have no problems by chewing on the tablets, but I, I, it's extremely painful to eat raw spirulina. I have to say that. Um, yeah. So just to like um, summarize real quick, if you're listening to this right now, you're a woman in your 30s, and you feel like, what does it mean for me? I mean, so just from just from the beginning right you are we are surrounded in an environment that we're full of toxins we're not getting the nutrients there's many studies that say that you know rats that weren't given enough nutrients become infertile you know they age faster they have inflammation low energy and so like you want to make sure that you nourish your body and so there are many ways to do it you can eat bags and bags and bags of food and vegetables uh, for me personally I struggle to have a super healthy diet. 